Hi, I'm Markus Schalkin and I'd like to show you a small example editor um, built with Tef, just to give you a rough idea what Tef is about and what you can expect from an editor built with Tef. This is an eCore editor and I already opened a small eCore model. As you can see, I used a C-like syntax to build a textual representation for eCore models. I also opened another representation for the same model. Here you can see the normal EMF generated tree based editor um, for eCore. When you look at both windows, you see the same model elements, and that's quite natural because both views show the same model. Now I'm going ahead and show you three important points about TEF. Um, the first point is that at each position in a TEF editor you can open a content uh, context sensitive content assist menu which provides you with a set of choices that are valid at this position. So for example in this package I can either create a new package or I can create a class or I can create a data type. I go ahead and select class and voila a new class appears. I simply name it and now I want to create an attribute within this class. Again, I open the content assist menu and simply select attribute from a list. At this position, for example, I have to choose the type for the attribute. And of course, Tef provides me with a list of all data types that are currently in the model. Um, at this moment, these are integer and string. I select string and now I simply give attribute a name and I add another class to the model um, opening content assist and select class from the list again a name for the class and now as a last example I will set the super class of namespace again with content assist and Tev shows me all the classes that are currently in the model at this moment these are named element and namespace I select named element Mm, the philosophy behind this content assist is that we want you to edit your model by simply making a sequence of choices. So you don't have to type your model character by character. This makes it much easier for you to edit your model when you are unfamiliar with the syntax. You don't have to know all the keywords, you don't have to know all the specific characters or whatever. You simply use content assist and make a set of choices. The second point about Tev that I want to show you is that each TEF editor is based on the model view controller pattern. This means TEF simply shows you a textual representation of a model, a view on a model, and when you edit something, it appears to you that you are changing the um, textual representation, but what you are really doing is to change the model, and this textual representation is simply reacting to this model change. So when you when I pick this model element, named element, and change its name, uh, also all other occurrences of the same model element change. So when you look at the other gray marked named element and I change it here, you see I change it with it. And this also works across views, so when you pay attention to this tree view and look at named element here, I change it again and it changes in the tree also. Of course, this also works the other way around. I can change it here in the EMF editor and in the very moment that the model element changes, it also changes in the editor right now. And I put it back to name element. The third point I want to show you is that TEF only allows you to build valid models. So for example within this name I can add any character or I can add any number but I can't add a minus or plus or whatever because this would lead to an invalid class name. Um, the other thing is the navigation with the cursor. The cursor always jumps to positions where I can make an uh, an editing choice. So within this name it stops at each position because at each position I could actually enter a character, but for this is changeable flag, for example, I can only delete the whole flag. Um, I put it back in with the content assist is changeable. Um, for the keyboard, for example, I cannot even reach a keyword and I of course cannot change it because when I change the keyword attribute, what I really want to do is to 
is to delete the whole attribute and that's what this pink color is for it um, shows me the currently selected model element and when I hit delete here I will delete the whole attribute the same for the class I select the class and delete the class and the class is gone with the class named element gone also all its references are gone and the former superclass of namespace named element um, is also gone and of course it's also gone from the um, content assist menu um, thank you very much for listening. I hope you enjoyed this little presentation. When you want to learn more about Tev and when you want to learn how little you really have to do in order to create an editor like this equal editor, please visit the documentation part of the Tev homepage. Thank you very much and enjoy Tev.